So with missions, you're basically defining the behavior of the robot. What we're able to do is everything from defining a mission, executing a mission, tracking the performance of the mission, and comparing across many missions of the same type or of different types, the same robot, different robots. For very simple missions, with a few clicks, you can define a series of steps. For example, you can choose a number of waypoints that you want the robot to visit, maybe set some uh, wait time at each of them. And then you just can schedule the mission to run at a certain time or dispatch it right away. Even more exciting is when you have dynamic missions. And the idea of a dynamic mission is when you have, for example, uh, a warehouse, somebody places an order and the order has a series of items, different SKUs that need to be picked up. It's always going to be different, right? Every order is going to be slightly different. So you can't have a predefined mission. You have in orbit, interpret that order from the warehouse management system or WMS and turn it into a mission for a particular robot. And it will pick the right robot, the, the one that's available or the closest. And then that's a very efficient way to carry out something that started with a click on an e-commerce system. Let's say you're finding that certain missions, maybe at a certain time of day, are taking much longer. Now you want to really dig into that and understand why that's happening. So with an orbit, you go from the mission to the time capsule. And time capsule really captures what happened during a period of time. In this case, that's tied to that particular mission. So essentially, you can replay the mission as it happened, all the data that was captured at the time. You can do things like um, showing a heat map that shows where the robot is spending time. You're watching a mission that occurred maybe a few days ago or a month ago, and now you can see that the robot is always getting stuck at a particular part because you see like a bright hotspot in one area. So now you can go back to that part of the warehouse and maybe you know you need to rearrange some items to make the mission run smoother. If you spend a lot of time creating missions for uh, robot vendor A from vendor A, and now later on you want to add vendor B to the mix or you upgrade your fleet to something else, you will need to start all over uh, from scratch. Uh, in this case, with an orbit missions, they're independent of the specifics of one robot. So you can have different robots running the same mission uh, dynamically, depending on what you're trying to do. You can uh, upgrade your fleet to something different, and um, you really don't need to redo any work. So people thought that having a robot agnostic way to specify robot behavior was mission impossible. We've turned it around. <laughs> that was super cheesy. <laughs> <laughs>